Delores Umbridge being being a big old bitch, giving a bad name to cat people everywhere. I'm on film five. Hello, it's very bright, isn't it, Biggie? It's <laughs> it's 9:40 a.m. on Wednesday, the 20th of May. Uh, D Daddy hasn't been to bed really, has he, Biggs? Well, I did go to bed for a bit and read for a bit and did my French for a bit and cuddled Biggie for a bit and then tried to sleep for a bit, but I couldn't sleep, so I got back up. I'm very stressed, really. Um, today, I have three different phone calls. Two of them are interviews from my Wickham Sound show, one with a person I've never met, um, and the interview's been set up by somebody else as well, so I'm like, ugh. Then one with Ollie Jacobs, who has appeared on this channel before. Bloody hell it is light, isn't it? Um, and then I think I'm supposed to be on Claire's radio show as well, um, talking about the books I've read, so we'll see. And as I say, I haven't slept, so I'm very sleepy. I've been trying to read a few different books, and I'm struggling to find one that, that, I, that I like, so I've demoted two of the books uh, to my bedtime reads, which now leaves me reading uh, Charlotte Street by Danny Wallace, which is um, it's like a kind of contemporary... I think it's like the most contemporary I ever do, really. Um, and it's about a guy who sort of sees this woman um, in Charlotte Street. And, um, yeah, he ends up with, like, a camera. And he's trying to track down who she is, even though he's never met her. Not like, he wants to return this camera and stuff. But really, it's one of those books where the journey is as much fun as uh, the destination. So, um, yeah, really enjoying it so far, actually. I'm very pleasantly surprised. I've had it for a while and um, just not picked it up. I do think his writing style can be a little clumsy here and there and it doesn't necessarily read like a polished, like best-selling author or whatever, but I mean his humour comes through and his voice comes through as well. I've, I've read a lot of his non-fiction in the past and yeah, you can tell that he's read it, so uh, that he wrote it. So yeah, overall I am enjoying it and it's on course to be a 4 out of 5 and a pleasant surprise. And then once I finish that, I'll be down to 33 books. I've also been reading uh, Hard Times by Charles Dickens as my bedtime book as well. So, um, yeah, a little update on that coming soon. Oh, yeah, and a little update as well about my pedal board. It is all made. So we have, uh, this used to be a bookshelf. So we've got, yeah, Caps Lock for my vintage overdrive, Echo for vintage delay, and then rule number one for the tuner because um, in my friend Dave's song, the open mic song, the first rule of open mic, tune up before you go on. Um, and then on the back as well, we have this, which includes a message saying, if you found it and I've left it in a pub, please return it. Um, it doesn't stay on perfectly well, as you can see, they do shift about a bit. Um, but in general, for like a performance, I'd be standing here, you know. We have a biggie here, don't we biggie? Uh, and I'm watching Prison Break. I'm up to season two. I'm actually going to have to stop it. So there we go. Um, yes, it's currently Friday, isn't it, Biggie? Um, I don't really know what news there is. I've been doing some recording. I've been doing a lot of working. Um, today, I had a vegan's, which is... Uh, this lady runs a vegan food van in High Wycombe. And obviously, she can't exactly set up in the middle of the market at the moment. Um, but she is doing deliveries, where she kind of delivers all this stuff for you to um, make your own one of hers. So I had one of those today. Um, in terms of reading... I finished reading um, Danny Wallace, Charlotte Street. I give it a pretty solid four out of five. I did enjoy. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen, didn't I, Biggie? That's why I left it there. I thought you might enjoy that box. It's just the right size, isn't it? I know. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm now currently reading Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk. Palahniuk, I don't know how to say his name. I'm getting on for about... 40% of the way through. Um, it's quite a cool thing. It basically follows this group of writers who all go on a writing retreat and end up stranded there. And it's set up as though it's like a short story collection telling the stories of all the different people, you know? It's got a bit of an and then... It's got a bit... It, blah, blah. It's got a bit of an and then there were non vibe, like Agatha Christie style, which I think is pretty cool. So um, I've been enjoying that. It is pretty slow going, but... I mean, I think that's why, because I'm getting down to, I think I'm on 33 unread books now. So the ones I've got left, they're all, like, quite long, basically, which I think is why I've been putting them off. So the challenge now is for me to find stuff that's like this, where it is, like, it's a chunky old, intimidating little read. But, um, well, it's not, actually. That's the thing. In fact, this is one of my newest 
bought books if that makes sense which is another reason why I'm getting to it but what I would say is like most of the books I have unread now are at least as long as this and so the challenge is finding the ones that I really want to read you know like I have the White Company by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle over there which I do want to read but I don't know if I want to read it as much as say I'm enjoying reading Haunted um, so yeah a lot of stuff's going backwards and forwards between bedtime books and non-bedtime books at the moment. And speaking of which, I hit page 100 of uh, Hard Times by Charles Dickens as well. So yeah, it's currently coming up to 20 past 10. I've had some, as I said, I've been doing some recording. Um, me and Dave, my friend Dave, did a really fun version of Hey Joe, um, which maybe I'll cut a little bit of that into here for you to have a look at it. Yeah, we're also working on our album together and The Ilk, which is mine and his band. We're on YouTube if you want to check that out and Dane plays. No, Dane Sings is also on YouTube where there's like some videos of me uh, playing some covers and stuff and some original. Well, it's just my like repository for all. I have like, lo I have I think 160 videos or something like currently unlisted but uploaded, you know, because I have a lot of old music footage from back in the day as well as new stuff that I'm constantly doing at the moment, you know. So probably a video a day from that and currently pretty much a video a day from the Ilk. So yeah. I think that's where we're at, so the other stuff I have to film at the moment, I have to finish off my review of Charlotte Street, I have to start my review of Haunted, and I have to uh, record the next radio show, which will go out next Tuesday. So that's where we're at, isn't it big? Hello, um, it's Saturday, it's 5 to 12 in the morning, I haven't been to bed yet, standard, um, been trying to be productive. Probably going to go for a little walk to the post depot later to post some stuff. Um, so there's that. I've been cracking on with reading Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk. I've nearly finished it now actually, so I need to film an update to my review. Um, really enjoying it actually. Probably going to give it a 4 out of 5, maybe 4.25 out of 5 even. Um, yeah, it's quite an engaging read, you know. It's one that you have to think about as you're reading it, but I don't know. I, it was I don't know what I was expecting going into it, to be honest, but it's not what I was expecting, but in a good way, and so I have been enjoying it because of that, you know? So I'm going to try and finish that. I don't know whether I'll finish it today or not. It kind of depends when I go to bed. Um, we'll see. But I think that's all I've got to update you on. I did some more recording. I don't know. Mental health isn't 100% again today. Standard. Um... I mean, it's not awful, I've just got some anxiety going on and stuff. Um, but it is what it is, you know? So. Pull Dodge thing down! Alright. Watching Jack Septic Eye, he's being very loud. You wanna go? I don't know what's going on. That was actually the last video on my to do list. Oh, yeah, do you like my t shirt? It says, Who the fuck is Jordana Blake? She's a singer songwriter friend of mine. I need to send her a selfie of this, actually. Uh, currently cracking on with reading Denial by Peter James, so I finished reading that other one. I've already forgotten what it was. Where is it? Over there, Haunted by Chuck Paulinick. Uh, really enjoyed it. I gave it like a 4.25 out of 5 and there's a full review coming soon. Lots of discussion points on it. Um, and also, if you get a chance, try to listen to the short story from it called uh, Guts. There's a version of it somebody's read on YouTube and he's like, his channel is like Epic Voice Guy or something as well. So um, yeah, worth listening to. So it's currently Sunday, I've been up now 16 hours, um, live stream in two and a half hours, I think I am going to do it, um, but I'm going to do a less formal version, um, and I'm not going to like heavily promote it like I've been doing, I'm just going to hop on YouTube and play, and then that'll be it, you know, um, so I'm not going to, because I've been trying to like promote it on Facebook and Twitter, and at some one point I was like trying to run two different streams and stuff. Uh, it just gets so complicated to do all these different things, so I'm just gonna try and just focus just doing Just do the YouTube stream and also like to make it a bit more casual I guess um, I mean that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to just be a casual thing To hang out with people and I think that's the problem is I ended up taking it too seriously and stressing over it um, I've been editing the radio show as well and over on um, Dane Sings, which is another YouTube channel I've got for my music stuff uh, I've been making these lyric videos where, um, well they are as they sound really, they're lyric videos. <laughs> um, yeah, they've got just random Creative Commons background footage that I could find that vaguely met the keyword of the song title. And then um, I put the lyrics over it and there's the music as well. So yeah, those, those are something to check out if you want to. But I finished making those today for all of my recorded songs. Final thing I wanted to mention. 
is that somebody appears, I think they are, getting rid of this old, um, it's like an old P amp stack thingy. And um, I want it. I want to turn it into a den for Biggie. I'm in my porch, look at this. The mattress, like I said, I think I told you before, there's a mattress outside that's just appeared there. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go and steal this thing. I don't think it's theft because it's just outside. I think they're getting rid of it. And it's been, I did, it has been there for like three days as well. I just don't wanna, I don't know. That's what happens around here. Like I've left bookcases outside and they just disappeared. And it does look as though it's just been dumped, you know? Because the speaker cab isn't in it. Let's go and have a look. Alright, theft complete. And you can't tell me the cat's not going to love that. Plus, I don't know, I've got some plans. Beautiful. I hope he likes it. I hope he uses it. After I've made the effort of making him this thing, but look at that, it's quite cheap. Go inside. And then it goes with my guitar setup. And my effects pedals that slip behind there. Tofu scramble for breakfast. It's been a while since I've included um, any food shots in my vlog. Because I haven't really been eating, to be honest. In fact, I'm mainly eating this so that I could send a photo to my friend to prove that I've eaten. Hello, it is Monday the 25th, uh, currently still struggling a little bit with my depression and stuff, um, I don't know, it's, well it's partly the situation at the moment, I've just, uh, over the last like two days I've had like, probably close to 20 negative comments, or like negative interactions online in like 48 hours, um, and it's, I think they're uncalled for. I don't know. The best one was someone called me a timid hippie. Right. Um, <laughs> I don't know, even it's like, I, th I think people are just in a bad mood at the moment and taking it out on each other because there are like people who I thought of as my friends who've like gone out of their way to say horrible things to me and I'm just like, I'm already struggling at the moment, like I don't need this shit. Um, which has basically put me in this zone where I feel like I don't need this shit, so I'm not really talking to people. Um, if people message me and stuff, I'll reply to them, but I'm not going out of my way to talk to people. I'd rather just be me and the cat at, the, at this present moment. And this is kind of another reason why I'm feeling down, because, like, I don't know, like, everyone's kind of saying it's perfectly natural to be down at the moment. There's a pandemic on and all this stuff. Uh, and everyone's like, but it's fine because we'll go back to normal like soon or eventually or whatever And like that's the thing to look forward to is going back to normal and it's like yeah, but I'm not really that happy When everything's normal Like I, I guess to be fair I was about to make quite a few changes in my life that the pandemic is kind of screwed over So maybe we can get back to normal and then I can make those changes and then things will be a bit better But I don't know. I, I just I have mental health problems, you know, so I think it's just one of those things where, like, I'm, I'm just not going to be happy, like, long term, like, what can you do? Like, even when I'm at my happiest, there's always still stuff that's weighing on my mind and dragging me down, and I think that's natural, you know? Anyway, on that cheerful note, um, I only ate half of my tofu uh, scramble, I'll try and eat the rest of it today, haven't really been eating since lockdown began, really, I've just been eating junk food. Um, so yeah, uh, I've been reading some more of Denial. I'm now 215 pages in, chapter 49. It's actually surprisingly good so far because I've read some of James's stuff, like because it's older, it was published in like 1998. And I've read some of his older stuff recently and it hasn't really held up that well. But this one's doing all right so far. It seems to me, I think it doesn't really matter when he's writing a book, it's the subject matter determines whether I enjoy it or not, you know? Um, and so, yeah, the subject matter in this one, basically there's this nuts dude whose mom's died and he's like taking his revenge on society. <laughs> and I don't know, I like books like that because we all sometimes think about taking our revenge on society, you know? 
I suppose that's why there are school shootings, which is a yeah, very American phenomenon, isn't it? Like, if I was going to take my revenge on society, I'd just publish a series of blog posts, I suppose. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm about halfway through this book, and I am enjoying it. Next up, I don't know what I'm going to read yet. I might read Richard Branson's autobiography. What's it even called? I think it's just called The Autobiography. Um, I've had it around for a while, and I remember reading the first 40-odd pages of it just to see whether I wanted to read it. And, like, you got to bear in mind, at the moment, I mean, I've got Alias Grace over there that was going to be a bedtime book, and I've pulled back through. Like, I'm pulling bedtime books through to become my main book, um, which means soon I'm going to be reading a lot of stuff I don't really want to read, I guess. Um, like with that one, it's just that it's dense, so that's fine, that can stay on my main pile. But this Branson book has never gone on to my bedtime book, it's always been one that I plan to read as a main book. And I've only got like three books like that left. I think the reason I've been putting it off is it's like 600 pages. I don't know, it will be interesting though. I don't. I also don't particularly like Richard Branson, but... Well, I bought it because I thought it would be worth it for the business insights and stuff, and then when I started reading it, it was actually just interesting and quite well written. So, probably not by him, probably by a ghostwriter, but still. Anyway, on that delightful note, it is the end of another weekly read and vlog. I think, I think it's a Monday. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.